Hey, what is up, everybody? It is Robbie Daggett back again. Awesome to see you. Hope you've been awesome since we last met. In this episode, I want to just go over a couple of things really quick for Mobius Final Fantasy Global, of course. First thing we're looking at here is the Legend Job uh, Maya banner, Mellow Mermaid banner going on right now. I kind of missed talking about this. I was just too busy to make a video, but I want to do a quick banner review. Because honestly, it's not that bad of a banner. And there is uh, one card in here that really I kind of have my eye on. I kind of want to pull for it now, but I think I'm just going to wait. Uh, but the Ober Oberon Ranger AoE card in here. There's not a lot of options as far as uh, light ranger damage goes for right now. Especially not something uh, quite as strong as this. You know, a multi-hit, four, hit four hits on the multi-hit. Plus overkill, plus improved crit. Looks good to me. Plus the other cards in are, don't look too bad either. Uh, the Minotaur, which is a basically a warrior AoE version of the same thing. Or they're all AoE, excuse me. And then uh, there's Area Ariadine. Ariadine. Probably butchering that. But uh, that's a mage earth version of the same thing. So all the cards look good. Uh, there's a monk one also that is in like kind of the same realm. It's a uh, no taijutsu, so. I would be less excited to pull that, to be quite honest. But all in all, the banner doesn't look too bad. I think since uh, Square Enix announced the Final Fantasy X stuff coming, that I'm kind of, I'm kind of just like, I've got my heart set on this at this point. <laughs> I'm kind of just like zeroed in. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh my god, Yuna. So I think I'm just gonna wait for that. A special thanks to Raiden for putting all this together in the global news section in the Mobius Final Fantasy. Discord, um, but I quickly, I mean, sorry, uh, in the Dreamer Society Discord, which is mo pretty Mobius focused, to be honest, it's not the Mobius Final Fantasy Discord, it's nothing official, it's just the, the Dreamer Society hangout, and you're very welcome to join if you'd like to, but I wanted to talk real quick about the ranking event going on, the Cephalopods Concoction. This ranking event's going to be very interesting, because you're only going to be able to use female characters and skins. So you can use like a wall job, you just have to put like a female skin on top of it, like you'll only be able to do that basically with uh, walls mages at this point. But you know, and uh, his rangers also. Um, but just looking at the rewards, let's go over the rewards just real quick. We got the mighty egg, five. we got a five star mighty egg. Um, we got the HP defender MP panel, that's our big reward here, 10%. 10% more H HP as a defender and, and multiplayer only. I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it to me, you guys. Just being honest. I don't see myself fighting too hard uh, trying to get the, that top 500, this tower. Um, which is fine for me, honestly. Uh, I was saying I kind of needed a break from the towers anyway. Uh, but for the tower climbers, this is going to be... You know, it, it's going to be a decent tower. Yeah, don't look at my, my non-excitement for this HP Defender panel. Uh, don't, don't feel bad about it, because honestly, it, towers are always fun. Always a great place. The real place to test your skills, besides, you know, Endless War or something like that. But I, I, I just don't need the HP Defender panel. I don't, I don't focus on Defender too much, so... It's just nothing, nothing I'm uh, looking forward to too much. Um, and then there's also going to be another chance to get a fake Duncan uh, coming up very soon. I'm not sure if that's going to be in this tower, though. I think it's going to be in a... Oh, okay. The Summer Ultras Tower, okay. Oh wow, that is for this tower then. Oh my god. Okay, really cool, really cool info. So bef one more thing. Um, so if you're missing Duncan, if you don't have Duncan, if you don't have the Gilgamesh Duncan, this is gonna be an awesome card. It actually does have Taijutsu. It's basically the, the Duncan, fake Duncan, the Gilgamesh Duncan card. Uh, but looks like it's got like one more attack power and one more break power, which isn't that significant at all. It's got one more attack power than than uh, Gregkin. <laughs> That's kind of funny. 
Uh, but you know, if you are missing a card with Taijutsu, especially if like if you're newer or something, this is gonna be an awesome card. The Summer Ultros card is for Warriors. Um, it actually looks pretty decent, honestly. Uh, 600 attack, 1350 break, but it, uh, it's a multi-hit that hits six times that adds the barrier slow debilitate. Not that bad, but uh, Warrior is going to make very good use of that card. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you guys are going to be climbing this tower. I mean, there's some rewards in here like the JCR uh, and the Magic 7% would really be lovely. And, you know, all, all the crystal and ability tickets. But it is a lot of work to keep top 500 in these towers. So I'll probably just shoot for like 1,000 or 3,000 if that. But let me know what you guys are planning on. I hope this info was helpful. You're always invited to the Dreamer Society Discord if you're not already a member. You don't gotta do nothing special to join. Just just hit that link in the description of the video. And uh, you're always invited to chill with us for some uh, good times. But thank you guys for tuning in for this little Mobius episode. It's been a pleasure. If you liked it, if it helped you out, don't hesitate to leave that thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps helps me keep creating more content for you guys. Now as usual, I'll catch you later. Best of luck. See you soon.